like one opportunity left to do um, a character ordering kind of puzzle with uh, with this and the bouncing before Laura's taken. So I kind of, with this one here, it's it's interesting. It's kind of hopefully the geometry kind of misleads the player and, and you see a lot of people kind of working on a few different possible solutions before they work out the correct puzzle solution here, which is kind of exactly what I wanted. It kind of hopefully kind of messes players thinking up a little bit um, and, and it's cool and I think it works pretty well. Laura had been the bait. She had a hunch that she wasn't needed anymore.
I like the pairing of, of John and Claire. There's something quite nice because both of them are awesome and epic in their own fields. Um, it's really nice because you have uh, the ability to have big jumps and big cool moments and we have a few of those where you jump up very high. And also there's the that really subtle, um, you know, obviously the power of Claire which she can, she can float. I really love, there's a nice moment here um, that I'm really happy with how it came out which is where there's a, a submerged spike pit and with a button above it as Claire. So you have to press the button and immediately move away in order not to be, um, not to hit the spikes. It's a tiny moment, but there's, there's something that you haven't seen before, that kind of idea of um, Claire being in danger because of her superpower. Um, and yeah, it was, 
I think it works kind of well here. And this level's nice because it's kind of ponderous and it takes your time before the next level where I, I make people quite angry. <laughs> challenges in this game <laughs> or, or, or levels with a kind of a cutoff point or or, uh, or anything really that kind of forces them to be fast um, this is one of them it was a real chat there's not many uh, timed challenges in this game <laughs> or, or, or levels with a kind of a cutoff point or or, uh, or anything really that kind of forces them there's not many uh, timed challenges in this game <laughs> or, or, or levels with a kind of a cutoff point or or, uh, or anything really that kind of forces them to be fast. Um, this is one of them. It was. There's not many uh, timed challenges in this game, <laughs> or, or, or levels with a kind of a cutoff point, or, or, uh, or anything really that kind of forces them to be fast. Um, this is one of them. It was a real challenge. It's, it's, it's a struggle for a lot of players because players try and do it at the same time with both characters, which, which is very, very nearly impossible. Um, what you need to do is separate them out. And, and there's a problem here, I think, in terms of communication that the player doesn't necessarily understand. There's not many uh, timed challenges in this game, <laughs> or, or, or levels with a kind of a cutoff point, or or, uh, or anything really that kind of forces them to be fast. Um, this is one of them. It was a real challenge. It's 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 a struggle for a lot of players because players try and do it at the same time with both characters, which which is very very nearly impossible. Um, what you need to do is separate them out. And, and there's a problem here, I think, in terms of communication that the player doesn't necessarily understand um, that, that, that they should do that. There's not many uh, timed challenges in this game, <laughs> or, or, or levels with a kind of a cutoff point, or, or, uh, or anything really that kind of forces them to be fast. Um, this is one of them. It was a real challenge. It's, it's, it's a struggle for a lot of players because players try and do it at the same time with both characters, which, which is very, very nearly impossible. Um, what you need to do is separate them out. And, and there's a problem here, I think, in terms of communication that the player doesn't necessarily understand um, that, that, that they should do that, and will therefore become more and more frustrated repeating the same solution. There's not many uh, timed challenges in this game, <laughs> or, or, or levels with a kind of a cutoff point, or, or, uh, or anything really that kind of forces them to be fast. Um, this is one of them. It was a real challenge. It's It's... It's a struggle for a lot of players because players try and do it at the same time with both characters, which which is very, very nearly impossible. There's not many uh, timed challenges in this game, <laughs> or, or, or levels with a kind of a cutoff point, or or, uh, or anything really that kind of forces them to be fast. Um, this is one of them. It was a real challenge. It's 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 a struggle for a lot of players because players try and do it at the same time with both characters, which which is very, very nearly impossible. Um, what you need to do is separate them out. And, and there's a problem here, I think, in terms of communication that the player doesn't necessarily understand um, that, that, that they should do that, and will therefore become more and more frustrated repeating the same solution. Um, so yeah, I, I, it's, there's not many uh, timed challenges in this game, <laughs> or, or, or levels with a kind of a cutoff point, or, or, uh, or anything really that kind of forces them to be fast. Um, this is one of them. It was a real challenge. It's It's... It's a struggle for a lot of players because players try and do it at the same time with both characters, which which is very, very nearly impossible. Um, what you need to do is separate them out. And, and there's a problem here, I think, in terms of communication that the player doesn't necessarily understand um, that, that, that they should do that, and will therefore become more and more frustrated repeating the same solution. Um, so yeah, I, I, it's, I'm not sure time puzzles... There's not many uh, timed challenges in this game, <laughs> or, or, or levels with a kind of a cutoff point, or, or, uh, or anything really that kind of forces them to be fast. Um, this is one of them. It was a real challenge. It's, it's, it's a struggle for a lot of players because players try and do it at the same time with both characters, which, which is very, very nearly impossible. 
um, what you need to do is separate them out. And, and there's a problem here, I think, in terms of communication that the player doesn't necessarily understand um, that, that, that they should do that, and will therefore become more and more frustrated repeating the same solution. Um, there's not many uh, timed challenges in this game, <laughs> or, or, or levels with a kind of a cutoff point, or or, or anything really that kind of forces them to be fast. Um, this is one of them. It was a real challenge. It's 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 a struggle for a lot of players because players try and do it at the same time with both characters, which which is very very nearly impossible. Um, what you need to do is separate them out. And, and there's a problem here, I think, in terms of communication that the player doesn't necessarily... Un there's not many uh, timed challenges in this game <laughs> or, or, or levels with a kind of a cut-off point or, or, or anything, really, that kind of forces them to be fast. Um, this is one of them. It was a real challenge. It's, it's, it's a struggle for a lot of players because players try and do it at the same time with both characters, which, which is very, very nearly impossible. Um, what you need to do is separate them out. And, and there's a problem here, I think, in terms of communication that the player doesn't necessarily understand um, that, that, that they should do that, and will therefore become more and more frustrated repeating the same solution. Um, so yeah, I, I, it's, I'm not sure time puzzles are the best idea in this game, um, but but it works. There's not many uh, timed challenges in this game, <laughs> or, or, or levels with a kind of a cutoff point, or 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 anything really that kind of forces them to be fast. Um, this is one of them. It, there's not many uh, timed challenges in this game, <laughs> or, or, or levels with a kind of a cutoff point, or, or, or anything really that kind of forces them to be fast. Um, this is one of them. It was a real challenge. It's, it's, it's a struggle for a lot of players because there's not many uh, timed challenges in this game, <laughs> or, or, or levels with a kind of a cutoff point, or, or, or anything really that kind of forces them to be fast. Um, this is one of them. It was a real challenge. It's 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 a struggle for a lot of players because players try and do it at the same time with both characters, which which is very very nearly impossible. Um, what you need to do is separate them out, and and there's a problem here, I think, in terms of community. There's not many uh, timed challenges in this game, <laughs> or, or, or levels with a kind of a cutoff point, or 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 anything really that kind of forces them to be fast. Um, this is one of them. It was a real challenge. It's it's. It's a struggle for a lot of players because players try and do it at the same time with both characters, which which is very, very nearly impossible. Um, what you need to do is separate them out. And, and there's a problem here, I think. There's not many uh, timed challenges in this game <laughs> or, or, or levels with a kind of a cutoff point or, or, or anything really that kind of forces them to be fast. Um, this is one of them. It was a real challenge. It's 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 a struggle for a lot of players because players try and do it at the same time with both characters, which which is very very nearly impossible. Um, what you need to do is separate them out. And and there's a problem here, I think, in terms of communication that the player doesn't necessarily understand um, that, that, that they should do that, and will therefore become more and more frustrated repeating the same solution. Um, so yeah, I, I, it's I'm not sure time puzzles are the best idea in this game um but but it was there's not many uh timed challenges in this game <laughs> or, or, or levels with a kind of a cutoff point or 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 anything really that kind of forces them to be fast um this is one of them it was a real challenge it's 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 a struggle for a lot of players because players try and do it at the same time with both characters which which is very, very there's not many uh timed challenges in this game <laughs> or, or, or levels with a kind of a cutoff point or or, uh, or anything really that kind of forces them to be fast. Um, this is one of them. It was a real challenge. It's 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 a struggle for a lot of players because players try and do it at the same time with both characters, which which is very very nearly impossible. Um, what you need to do is separate them out. And and there's a problem here, I think, in terms of communication that the player doesn't necessarily understand um, that, that, that they should do that, and will therefore become more and more frustrated repeating the same solution. Um, so yeah, I, I, it's, I'm not sure time puzzles are the best idea. There's not many uh, timed challenges in this game, <laughs> or, or, or levels with a kind of a cutoff point, or, or, or anything really that kind of forces them to be fast. Um, this is one of them. It was a real challenge. It's, it's, it's a struggle for a lot of players because players try and do it at the same time with both characters, which, which is very, very nearly impossible. Um, what you need to do is separate them out. And, and there's a problem here, I think, in terms of communication that the player doesn't necessarily understand um, that, that, that they should do that, and will therefore become more and more frustrated repeating the same solution. 
Um, so yeah, I, I, it's, I'm not sure time puzzles are the best idea in this game, um, but, but it works and it feels dramatic. Uh, there's not many uh, timed challenges in this game, <laughs> or, or, or levels with a kind of a cutoff point or, or, uh, or anything really that kind of forces them to be fast. Um, this is one of them. It was a real challenge. It's, it's, it's a struggle for a lot of players because players try and do it at the same time with both characters, which, which is very, very nearly impossible. Um, what you need to do is separate them out. And, and there's a problem here, I think, in terms of communication that the player doesn't necessarily understand um, that, that, that they should do that and will therefore become more and more frustrated repeating the same solution. Um, so, yeah, I, I, it's, I'm not sure time puzzles are the best idea in this game, um, but, but it works and it feels dramatic and it's visually very cool level. So I think it does a lot of things right, but uh, maybe the time element could have been rethought never one to to underplay anything i then repeat and do another timed level directly after the one that annoys everyone uh, never one to to underplay anything i then repeat and do another timed level directly after the one that annoys everyone uh, <laughs> which which was an interesting choice um this is yeah so this is this is kind of um this is a race um against time you do only have one character now so it's it's less frustrating in that sense um it's it's yeah it could have done with a bigger gap before it but it works this also kind of emphasizes never one to to underplay anything i then repeat and do another timed level directly after the one that annoys everyone <laughs> which which was an interesting choice um this is yeah so this is this is kind of um this is a race um against time you do only have one character now so it's it's less frustrating in that sense um it's it's, yeah, it could have done with a bigger gap before it, but it works. This also kind of emphasizes John's, and this is the final moment of that kind of trifecta of mean levels. This one actually was designed to be frustrating, so I don't feel too bad about this one. <laughs> um, this is, you're meant to really struggle to get to the exit with this. I wanted John to really fight to escape, even though, and this is something that happens a lot in Thomas, there's never, there's never any choice on the player's part. There's never any ability for you to choose where you're going next, say, for a portal. I really liked the idea of creating an emulation of that kind of relationship with the environment. So the idea that John's racing to get away. There's no way the player can obviously get away, but I really wanted them to feel that kind of that stress of trying to succeed. Um, and the main reason for doing that is that then once they do finally succeed, at that point they fail anyway, um, which is that kind of classic horror movie thing of work, 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 and then and then fail ultimately. And that's hopefully leaves kind of a an uncomfortable feeling. I, I really want you to feel bad at the end of this level. Um, hopefully it's built up at this point. Um, you've lost every character that you that you like that's been introduced to you. Um, this could very easily have been the end of the game and I like the fact that the player is going to feel uh, there's a, de a definitive end to this section of the game. So putting these challenges right at the end hopefully kind of achieves that.
This is James. He's another one of my favourite characters. Um, he's he's intended to be the opposite of Thomas. He's kind of the anti-Thomas. This is something that lots of games do um, and <laughs> have the negative version of their main character. He's not evil. He's not mean in that way, but he's, he's emotionally, hopefully, kind of the opposite. He's uncomfortable with the world. He's scared of the world. Um, he's, he's kind of... Um, He's, he's not a massive fan of groups of people either. He's, there's, it's established very early on that maybe he was bullied or he's uncomfortable around others. So hopefully kind of the complete inverse Thomas, which will become interesting when they meet. Um, it's quite nice as well that he's physically the opposite of Thomas in terms of that he falls upwards, that he's got the anti-gravity. It's a nice way of bringing that mechanic in. And then little things like the fact that he's the, um, the opposite RGB value, um, which is a minor little nerdy thing to do. But one person in the world would, would realise prior to this commentary, and that's important. And that makes me feel clever at parties. I don't go to parties, I'm a game designer.
Characters are different in this game, and that's obviously from a gameplay point of view. That's sort of the point um, that they're that they're different, and I like that different characters react to that difference differently. <laughs> so uh, Laura is uh, finds it hard to trust people because she feels she's being used because she's different. Uh, John is proud. All the characters are different in this game, and that's obviously from a gameplay point of view. That's sort of the point um, that they're that they're different, and I like that different characters react to that difference differently. <laughs> so uh, Laura is uh, finds it hard to trust people because she feels she's being used because she's different. Uh, John is proud of his difference and, and feels much, much better than everyone else. Uh, Claire, um, her self-esteem is boosted by her, her difference. She feels she's a superhero, um, which is cool. And with James, I really wanted him to have a, a different reaction. All the characters are different in this game, and that's obviously from a gameplay point of view, that's sort of the point, um, that, they're, that they're different. And I like that different characters react to that difference differently. <laughs> so uh, Laura is uh, finds it hard to trust people because she feels she's being used because she's different. Uh, John is proud of his difference and, and feels much, much better than everyone else. Uh, Claire, um, her self-esteem is boosted by her, her difference. She feels she's a superhero, um, which is cool. And with James, all the characters are different in this game, and that's obviously from a gameplay point of view, that's sort of the point, um, that, they're, that they're different. And I like that different characters react to that difference differently. <laughs> so uh, Laura is uh, finds it hard to trust people because she feels she's being used because she's different. Uh, John is proud of his difference and, and feels much, much better than everyone else. Uh, Claire, um, her self-esteem is boosted by her, her difference. She feels she's a... All the characters are different in this game, and that's obviously from a gameplay point of view, that's sort of the point, um, that, they're, that they're different. And I like that different characters react to that difference differently. <laughs> so uh, Laura is uh, finds it hard to trust people because she feels she's being used because she's different. Uh, John is proud of his difference and, and feels much, much better than everyone else. Uh, Claire, um, her self-esteem is boosted by her, her difference. She feels she's a... All the characters are different in this game, and that's obviously from a gameplay point of view, that's sort of the point, um, that, they're, that they're different. And I like that different characters react to that difference differently. <laughs> so uh, Laura is... 
uh, finds it hard to trust people because she feels she's being used because she's different. Uh, John is proud of his difference and, and feels much, much better than everyone else. Uh, Claire, um, her self-esteem is boosted by her, her difference. She feels she's a super. All the characters are different in this game, and that's obviously, from a gameplay point of view, that's sort of the point, um, that, they're, that they're different. And I like that different characters react to that difference differently. <laughs> so uh, Laura is... Uh, finds it hard to trust people because she feels she's being used because she's different. Uh, John is proud of his difference and, and feels much, much better than everyone else. Uh, Claire, um, herself, all the characters are different in this game, and that's obviously, from a gameplay point of view, that's sort of the point, um, that, they're, that they're different. And I like that different characters react to that difference differently. <laughs> so uh, Laura is... Uh, finds it hard to trust people because she feels she's being used because she's different. Uh, John is proud of his difference and, and feels much, much better than everyone else. Uh, Claire, um, her self-esteem is boosted by her, her difference. She feels she's a superhero, um, which is cool. All the characters are different in this game, and that's obviously, from a gameplay point of view, that's sort of the point, um, that, they're, that they're different. And I like that different characters react to that difference differently. <laughs> so uh, Laura is... Uh, finds it hard to trust people because she feels she's being used because she's different. Uh, John is proud of his difference and, and feels much, much better than everyone else. Uh, Claire, um, her self-esteem is boosted by her, her difference. She feels she's a superhero, um, which is cool. And with James, I really want... All the characters are different in this game, and that's obviously, from a gameplay point of view, that's sort of the point, um, that, they're, that they're different. And I like that different characters react to that difference differently. <laughs> so uh, Laura is uh, finds it hard to trust people because she feels she's being used because she's different. Uh, John is proud of his difference and, and feels much, much better than everyone else. Uh, Claire, um, her self-esteem is boosted by her, her difference. She feels she's a superhero, um, which is cool. And with James, I really wanted him to have a, a different reaction to his differentness. He feels different in a way that's uncomfortable. He feels that he's weird and odd and strange and that makes him uncomfortable around people and that's a that is a that's a valid response to feeling different and it's one that you see a lot in the real world and i kind of wanted to play with that kind of negative side of it um and that's what james is is james is defined by that difference he's um he, he all the characters are different in this game and that's obviously from a gameplay point of view that's sort of the point um that they're that they're different and i like that different characters react to that difference differently <laughs> so uh laura is uh finds it hard to trust people because she feels she's being used because she's different uh john is proud of his difference and, and feels much much better than everyone else uh claire um her self-esteem all the characters are different in this game and that's obviously from a gameplay point of view that's sort of the point um that they're that they're different and i like that different characters react to that difference differently <laughs> so uh laura is uh, finds it hard to trust people because she feels she's being used because she's different. Uh, John is proud of his difference and, and feels much, much better than everyone else. Uh, Claire, um, her self-esteem is boosted by her, her difference. She feels she all the characters are different in this game, and that's obviously, from a gameplay point of view, that's sort of the point, um, that, they're, that they're different. And I like that different characters react to that difference differently. <laughs> so uh, Laura is uh, finds it hard to trust people because she feels she's being used because she's different. Uh, John is proud of his difference and, and feels much, much better than everyone else. Uh, Claire, um, her self-esteem is boosted by her, her difference. She feels she's a superhero, um, which is cool. And with James, I really wanted him to have a, a different reaction to his differentness. He feels different in a way that's uncomfortable. He feels that he's weird and odd and strange, and that makes him uncomfortable around people. And that's a, that is a, that's a valid response to feeling different, and it's one that you see a lot in the real world. And I kind of wanted to play all the characters are different in this game, and that's obviously from a gameplay point of view, that's sort of the point, um, that they're that they're different. And I like that different characters react to that difference differently. <laughs> so uh Laura is uh finds it hard to trust people because she feels she's being used because she's different. Uh John is proud of his difference and, and feels much, much better than everyone else. Uh Claire, um her self-esteem is boosted by her her difference. She feels she's a superhero, um, which is cool. And with James, I really wanted him to have a, a different reaction to his differentness. He feels different in a way that's uncomfortable. He feels that he's weird and odd and strange, and that makes him uncomfortable around people. And that's a, that is a, that's a valid response to feeling different, and it's one that you see a lot in the real world. 
And I kind of wanted to play with that kind of neck. All the characters are different in this game, and that's obviously from a gameplay point of view, that's sort of the point um, that they're that they're different. And I like that different characters react to that difference differently. <laughs> so uh, Laura is uh, finds it hard to trust people because she feels she's being used because she's different. Uh, John is proud of his difference and, and feels much, much better than everyone else. Uh, Claire, um, her self-esteem is boosted by her, her difference. She feels she's a superhero, um, which is cool. And with James, I really wanted him to have a, a different reaction to his differentness. He feels different. I, I really wanted to start building in more complex environment interactions. At the moment, up to this point, you did something in the world and you were immediately saw the, the, the kind of the output, the payoff of that. With this stuff, this is more indirect, so this is you're getting knocked by one thing into another thing which is dangerous, so it's a nice little, you know, two-step interaction which feels good and hopefully varies things up. Also, um, here the player's still disoriented. Players don't get used to the gravity when it's anti-gravity quite as fast as before. Also, obviously, they've played the game up to this point, so they're, they're still in that, that original mode. So it's quite fun putting them in this situation which requires them to time something and to time placement because they are slightly disoriented by the environment. And this is where Thomas comes back. I really am denied about how long I was going to leave it before you saw one of the original characters again. I was kind of worried that I wanted the loss to set in, I wanted the player to feel they missed those characters. But at the same time, I kind of had to get it going again. And I didn't want to introduce these other world characters quite too quickly. Um, I wanted to save Sarah, for example, for later. So bringing in um, Thomas at this point felt right. It kind of felt like the logical time. James has been established. The player's got used to the fact that, that those characters are gone. So Thomas is a surprise. Um, here, I keep them separated, but it's for a slightly different reason than before. It's not to um, limit the player or make them feel constrained so that the, the later kind of access to the characters is more fun. It's mainly to um, introduce anti-gravity and gravity simultaneously. In most games, when you change gravity, the gravity change is either directed by the player at a thing they want to change the gravity of, or it's universal, so everything falls upwards. So there's a chance that players at this point in the game, because they've only seen James on the screen and he's new, they don't associate, they don't make the, the, the leap that James has different gravity to everyone else. They might just assume this is an anti-gravity world. So having Thomas separated off with the correct gravity in a way that they can see, just kind of hopefully explains James's power in a way that they might have missed. I just wanted to do that very quickly before they move on to actually try and make these characters interact. I love this level. Um, <laughs> it's awesome. It's kind of jazzy. Um, <laughs> it's a playful environment. The, the, the aim here was to uh, get things moving around, get blocks moving in quite a fun, silly way, and, and change the environment in a way that's not been done before. You know, these constant tweaks and fiddles to make, make everything feel odd and, and, and changing. And then actually have Thomas and John. So this is the first time the player has to use these two characters together in a puzzle. It's actually quite a long way into this chapter before you're required to do that. Uh, this is the first time. Uh, and you use them to stepping stone each other. Um, part of that, part of the reason for doing this is actually to begin the player's journey towards a much more complex mechanic, which is the idea of having the two characters standing on top of each other and basically um, negating each other's gravity, which, which is something that they come to later. There's quite a few levels where I kind of create these situations where you either half do it, i.e. a stepping stone, or you can, you'll, you might accidentally do it, which is, which is hopefully going to happen a few times. Players are going to accidentally find themselves floating in space, and it's nice because I see a lot of um, let's plays or YouTube comments where people are like, "Oh, I, I totally um, broke this level by getting um, the fact that you can do that on top of each other, these two characters on top of each other, way earlier than the designer intended." I always intended you to work it out, and I intended for you to feel clever when you did. Um, sorry to burst your bubble. You're a lovely person um, and I'm sure you're very very good at computer games but that's the intention is hopefully that these two characters being put in this situation will kind of guide you on your own to find what is probably the most complex concept to grasp in the game so this is another indirect level this is a level where the two characters are not kind of directly interacting with each other there's a symmetry as well. There's basically both characters going on almost the same moves. There's a few different variations just to keep it interesting, but predominantly they're progressing in exactly the same way. 
Um, this, uh, this is something I couldn't do very often. A symmetrical level with two characters doing exactly the same thing would not be very entertaining if it was done lots and lots and lots. But aesthetically, I just love the symmetry of this level, and I kind of wanted to have at least one level where I kind of acknowledge the fact that the characters are the same in terms of their jump heights, for example, and actually make a level where you're playing two levels simultaneously. Um, like I said, only only something I can't do. It's not something I can do very often, but it was a nice thing to do just this once. Thing that brought them both here. This was working. James and Thomas, working together, could get anywhere. James didn't seem to understand the immense ability he possessed. And this is taking that stepping stone idea a little bit further. So this is this is the idea that you can uh, this is the idea you can use one character to move another to access a stepping zone for another to help with jump distance. Um, I think this level there's a bit of bad communication going on with the moving platforms. Um, the the point of moving platforms is essentially to catch you if you um, if you get a character past the point where they're useful. There's certain places where you can break this level theoretically by moving the wrong character too far. Um, and those moving platforms are kind of a way of backing out of that so you can get back into the game without dying. Um, what the problem is, though, is up to this point, all moving platforms are there to be jumped on. So players see the moving platform and immediately assume that's part of the solution to the problem, um, which, is, which is a problem with this level, and I've seen people get confused by it. It's an odd one because partially that's kind of cool because it means that it's, it's, a, it's a puzzle for them to work out, but also I think players feel a little bit cheated. They feel like they've been told to do something that didn't work. Um, so that's one that I would probably tweak if I was doing it again.
this is this is a death tunnel according to <laughs> according to the file name um this this is a cool one i like this one um basically yeah you have to use each character it's a lot like the symmetrical level from before but it's more asymmetric because of the movement of the pieces and, and the fact that there are safe zones you have to get the characters into otherwise one will you know get killed while you're moving the other one and it feels nice and it feels dramatic again not something we can do too much in the game because people would get bored of it but by doing this again but with much more hazard i think it feels kind of dramatic the checkpoints here make this level far more fun the pre-checkpoints this level was absolutely awful because you get to you get to the end piece with those kind of chomping pieces and if you just got one character accidentally placed in the wrong place you have to go back to the start of the entire game this was one of the levels which kind of play t <laughs> play testers used to talk me into bothering to put checkpoints in i'm very very glad they did because uh, it, it's made the game a lot better um but yeah it's cool it's a nice dangerous corridor it's a good level This is the payoff so this is the moment where all of that stepping stone stuff um is actually used for a mechanic so you have to float the two characters on top of each other through an environment um hopefully by this point you've already worked this out for yourself um i actually chickened out a little bit so i spawned the characters in the position of being on top of each other which was a bit of a wimpy move on my part uh, if you mess that up though if you break it if you immediately change your position that stone that notch on the side is there to kind of help you back in but yeah, it's 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 hopefully it's a combination. It's the point where the player feels they've beaten the game. They've they've worked something out a bit quicker than the game was willing to show them. Um, which I don't know how often that works, but it, it feels like the right time to introduce this mechanic in in terms of actually having to force the player to do it. Um, and yeah, it's 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 interesting. The, the the gravity thing started off as a bug. Um, it started off that basically the two characters when I was because obviously on paper I was like, oh, Thomas would be cool if he could jump, and it would be cool if there was another character that jumped the wrong way. The anti gravity thing. But I never actually worked out what would happen if the two landed on top of each other. And it was only then when I got these characters into the game and put them together, I jumped them on top of each other and realised that they cancel each other out. It was very buggy. I had to tweak a few things, but it was. It was really interesting and, and it made complete sense in a really weird kind of game logic -y way which which i liked um so i went with it um and i, I think it's fun i think it kind of did. and this is the payoff so this is the moment where all of that stepping stone stuff um is actually used for a mechanic so you have to float the two characters on top of each other through an environment um hopefully by this point you've already worked this out for yourself um I actually chickened out a little bit, so I spawned the characters in the 